Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, I am Himanshu, and today I am going to tell you everything about how to protect a workbook or a sheet. And uh, there are plenty of things uh, that uh, we need to understand. So let's start. First of all, the first option uh, which we need to understand is the protect workbook. Now, what is workbook? Means the Excel file is a workbook, and in a single excel file you may have n number of sheets so those sheets are worksheets so we are going to protect a workbook so what will happen after we are going to protect a workbook on a structure level um, is it the case that we can't type anything uh, on a particular sheet no this is not going to happen uh, or you will not be able to delete that particular file no that is also not going to happen so what will happen on the structural level basis no changes may happen what does this mean actually you right now i'm clicking here and um, you may see a new sheet has been created so this will not happen you can't create a new sheet or you will not be able to delete any particular sheet rename that sheet hide or unhide that particular sheet so this is what protect workbook will do means on that structure level you will not be able to make any changes so how to do that go to review and uh, click on this protect workbook option keep this structure uh, cursor on and then give a password that is okay it will ask to confirm the password confirm it okay now the sheet has been protected you can see i can't create a new sheet and uh, all the sheet related operations are now inactive so i can't do any changes on the structural level in this particular workbook again click on protect workbook in order to unprotect it and give the password okay this is one part of it second aspect of it is to protect sheet how to protect a sheet uh, here it is you are getting the option under review there is this protect sheet option click over here and uh, here you may give a password so before I am going to give a password there are a few things that you need to understand first of all here you may see an option allow all user of this worksheet to now when the sheet is protected what you are allowing the user to right now what you are allowing is the select locked cell select unlocked cell by default each cell is in locked property in excel so what you are doing you are allowing the user to select any cell this means if they can select anything they can do the copy and paste also somewhere else they can paste but copy it um, if you don't want the user to select anything while it is protected then simply click over here and the user will not be able to select anything however i am allowing this particular option and uh, i'm going over here and giving the password one two three uh, anything whatever you want to give confirm that password and the sheet has been protected now if i am trying to make any changes over here i can't do that i will get this uh, message and uh, i can't drag it i can't do anything in fact i can do the selection only and yes of course i can do the copy and paste it somewhere else so it is like protection of sheet now um, in this particular section i want to do few more things that is while the sheet is protected i am first of all i'm going to unprotect it now while the sheet is protected i want that in this four cell as a reference i'm just um, giving it a fill color of yellow so what i want i want that whenever sheet will be protected you will not be able to make changes in this particular sheet anywhere but one should be able to make changes in this four excel cell that is what i want so while the sheet is in unprotect uh, means this is now unprotected so what you need to do 
you need to go to this allow user to edit ranges option you need to go to this new and this is the range and this is asking for a asking you to refer a cell which you want to product and I am just selecting these cells range password if you want to give a password over here you can give now how these things will work that whenever the sheet is protected then if the user is going over these cells to make a changes it will ask for a password if you have given that password then at least you will be able to make changes in this particular cell so this will be like giving a two passwords um, so I'm not giving any password over here just click on OK and click on apply and then OK that's it now you will not be able to uh, means uh, understand any changes over here because uh, right now each and every cell is being allowed to make changes because I have not done the protection yet so I have clicked on protect sheet 1 2 3 4 ok click ok 1 2 3 4 click ok once again now the sheet has been protected I can't do any changes anywhere but yes in these cells because it is being allowed so I can make changes so unprotected and if you don't want the user to uh, make any changes in this particular cells also just go over to allow user to edit ranges select this option and you can delete this option uh, moreover um, another thing that you may give plenty of cell instances by going to new and adding few more cell where you are allowing the user to do changes while the sheet is protected you can do that by going to the new option however I'm not doing that and uh, select this option I am clicking on delete okay now no cells is allowed while the sheet is protected we are not done yet but this is the just uh, this is just a first part of my uh, this particular tutorial about the protection of sheet and workbook there are a few more things very very important things and i'm going to upload it probably within two or three days uh, kindly subscribe to my channel for more updates thank you for watching have a nice day